Welcome everybody to another Community Fit. I am your host, James, and this is Move Lab Dynamic. And this is the first of the lower body series. Last month we did upper body and move lab dynamic. Next month we're gonna do a uh, full body, full body for everything. If you're looking for a full body workout, great, because on Tuesdays we are currently moving through our move lab foundations upper body. So we got upper body, low body, and we have our nervous system stuff. So join us all week long, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. For now, Welcome to everyone new. If you um, are just joining us for the first time ever, Move Lab only has one rule to remember, and that's whatever you're doing, however you're moving, you're doing it 100% correctly because there are no wrong ways to move, just options and choices that have more and more self-awareness and discernment the more you practice. Meaning the more you do it, the better you get at noticing what you're doing and the better at better choices you get at it. So. Repetition, repetition, repetition. We also follow a very distinct format here at Move Lab. We always start with a little breath work. We go right into our nervous system regulation exercises, practices. Why? Because movement, exercise, and the like is stress. It's positive stress on the body. And learning how to move through that and recognize symptoms and signals of stress is really healthy for all of us for a lot of different reasons. And then we couple that with our movement practice. It kind of intermix all of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with our breathing exercise for today. And the breathing exercise for today is going to be some diaphragmatic breath. Why? Because low body ends all the way up in the diaphragm, technically speaking. Meaning the muscles that join the legs into the body go all the way up into the diaphragm. So we need to start there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to interlace the fingers and that diaphragm muscle, when it's relaxed, rests all the way up in the rib cage. When I do an inhale, that diaphragm pulls down and that's what sucks in air. So we don't need to be big. We don't need to be small. We don't need to be fast. We don't need to be slow. We just need to be conscious. If you don't want to sit like this, don't sit like this. Sit however you'd like. Stand. As you pull your hands down, let that inhale happen. Exhale, feel the hands move up. If you joined us for Move Lab Foundations this week, you already know umbrella breath. Maybe you want to imagine umbrella breathing happening as you're doing diaphragmatic breathing. Really paying attention to where do I in, where do I relax, where do I contract? What's going on in my body? Now, if that's interesting for you, keep doing that thing. If not, just breathe like a normal human being. Bring your hands together, get them warmed up, and maybe today you want to place them here, you want to place them here, here, wherever it is that would feel good. Or maybe since we're working on low body, maybe I just want to do a little bit in my belly or in my low back or in my hips. Now, if I want to continue with this self-touch for nervous system warm-ups, great. Or I can go into some orientation and just looking around my space intaking, naming things objectively, which might sound a lot like plant, mirror, whatever is in your space, photos, pictures, cats, dogs, whatever it is, or going into a little lateral sway, right, left. These are all tools you can come back to, to reset and restore as you need. Meaning if you get a little worked up, you get a little hypervigilant or disembodied, maybe pausing, going into a little breath, a little touch, little sway might help to recenter and calm and make the workout not only more fulfilling, but actually technically better. We work out better if we are in nervous system, if we have a more regulated nervous system. 
Now, let's get into some movement. We're going to start, you know, again, typically when we're thinking low body, we're thinking quads and hamstrings, maybe glutes, maybe even low abs. We'll get there. But we're going to start lower. We're going to start all the way down in the feet. So for today, we're going to outstretch our legs, and we're going to point, and we're going to flex. If you were in Move Lab Foundation, this is very similar to how we started there. So none of these practices should be new to you. Pointing, toes are long, flexing, heels are long, toes, heels. Only here, we're going to point with one, flex with the other. How do you know you're doing it right? Well, it should look pleasing to the eyes. So if it's sort of like crumpled and crinkled and moving weird, no, you might need some finessing on that. Then flex. Soles of the feet point to each other and then away from each other. As you do this, can you resist the urge to point, um, to let the toes kind of come closer to the ground or closer to each other? We're really kind of imagining that the feet are like two poles, two pillars, and they're just rotating on their own axis. Then they point away from each other, they point, they point towards each other and flex. Away, point, towards, and I'm making some circles. And then reverse. And it's really easy to kind of rush through these. And then it's a very different thing to embody and be with and conscious of the movements you're making. You know, it's one of those things, Move Lab Dynamic is not necessarily about big, quick, fast movement. We often got to walk before we can run. So this is that walking phase. Then bring one leg in, let the other one be in front of you. From there, increase your arch and then relax it. Meaning, keep your heel down, drag the toes towards the heel, and then relax. Drag it, relax. If you kind of look here, you'll see that there's more mountain, more space, and then less. More, less, more, less, more, less. And then other side. And relax. Bring one leg in front of you, one leg to the side of you. Again, if you're familiar with Move Lab or we're in Foundations, you know this one. We're going to be here. Feet are flexed, hands are behind us, and my knees are going to exchange sides. I'm over, and then I'm over. Notice how the feet, although they're moving side to side, they're not picking up and changing places. Now go to one side, the other hand, the hand you left behind reaches, stretches, comes back, other side, reach, stretch, come back. Last one. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Let them be opened up relatively wide. Chest rotates to make friends with one knee. Comes up, other side. Three, and two, and one. Go ahead and lay all the way down. 
From there, we're going to take the legs up to a tabletop. We're going to put the hands on the front of the knees, so the side of the knees facing you, low quads. From there, I'm going to push my arms straight, and I'm going to pull my knees into my hands. I should feel a lot of low ab. I'm going to hold. Four, three, two, relax. This is one of those sequences that you got to put the work in. You got to pull your knees and push with your arms in order for it to work. Just like this next one, I put my hands on the outside and I try to really open up the knees as I pull in. Relax. Ah. Hands go to the inside. I really try to pull them together and resist with my arms. Relax. Hands go behind the thighs. I'm trying to straighten out my legs as my arms pull them. Probably feel some glutes, some back of the legs. And stretch one leg out, pick the other leg up. Flex, point, flex, point, one more, flex, point. That leg goes down and comes back up. Cardinal rule of move lab, in order to go up, something's got to go down. So I go down, decelerate. I push with the rest of my body to help this leg come up. I can keep doing that or circle it and up. Circle it and up. Circle it up. Circle it, reverse. Two, one, rest. Ah, other leg, point, flex, point, flex. It goes down and up. Circles. Reverse. Last one. Rest. Ah. Turn over onto your side looking at your screen, wherever that is, legs are going to be straight. From there, flex your feet and see if you can get your hips relatively stacked, meaning that top one's not behind in front of, further away or closer to than the bottom one. It's right there. Flex your feet, push your bottom foot into the mat. Top leg lifts and lowers. If you're feeling a lot in the front of your thigh, in the hip crease area, hip flexor area, you probably roll backwards, roll a little forward, and really concentrate on lifting through the heel. Lift, lower. And then maybe some circles. In reverse. and take a rest. For some of you, that might be enough work. Other people might want to lift and just keep going and back down. We're gonna have a very different exercise next month when we involve the upper and the lower body. For now, as that leg lifts, 
In order for it to go up further, it's almost got to go forward and rotate. Otherwise, that top hip needs to come back. See if you can stay stacked and figure out a way to get that leg to lift and back down. A lift and a down. One more, a lift and a down. Now, lift it up to about hip height. Take it as far in front of you as you'd like. Don't let the hips move. Go down and touch. Go backwards as far as you'd like. Can you keep your hips stacked? Down, touch. And rest. Bend your knees, other side. Just flip it on over. We're going to start here with just a lift and a lower. Where are you in space? What's going on? What choices are you making consciously or unconsciously? In circles. And reverse. And take a breather. Ah. From there, I lift. And in order to go up, what choices need to be made in this leg? I'm going up, so something's got to push down. Bottom leg, probably, upper body. One more. I lift it up to hip height. I go forward as far as I'd like. Down, up, back, down, up, forward. Last one. And rest. Bending or uh, onto your belly. Get the front of your hips as close to the ground as possible. Usually when we're here, it's like pubic bone down, hip joints away. Let your tailbone be kind of um, relaxed. Feel the arch in the low back and hold. You can be down here, you can be up here, your choice. Can you keep your pelvis where it's at and bend at one knee and then back down? Keep your pelvis where it's at, bend at the other knee and back down. And if you've got that, can you bend, bend down? Point, flex, down. Point, flex, down. Point, flex, down. Four, three, two, one. Hands go underneath you, you are up to hands and knees, and back down onto your heels. If your knees don't allow for this, you know by now to stick something behind your knees and working your way towards something more like this. Let the big toes touch, let the heels cup the buttocks, and we're gonna rock right and left, right and left. Find your center, push down to come up and decelerate back down. Push down to go up, decelerate. Now, continue to do that. I'm gonna face this direction so you can kind of see better. 
I can just come up as is or rocking right and left. Notice this is in a seaweed spine. It's rocking right and left. It's like a hula hoop uh, sway through the hips. And keep that going as you go up and as you go back down. Up and down. Up. Down. One more up. One more down. Huh. From there, we're going to come on up. We're going to tuck the toes. We're going to go back down. We're going to come back up. And we're going to go back down. Up and down. Up. Notice how my head, my chest, and my pelvis stay more or less aligned. And up, match strike, left foot forward, lunge, come back, leg comes back, and I'm down. Up, match strike, lunge, back, down. For those of you who are new to match striking, we go up, this leg comes straight through, you'll hear it drag, that's like a match striking, versus hurtling the leg. Forward, I lunge, I come back, I replace, I'm down. I'm up, strike, lunge, back, replace, down. Two more each side. When you're done, rest. Oh. Little relaxation, little bit ah, regulation. From there, I'm up, match strike, weight shift forward, all the way up to a stand. Same leg goes back, decelerate, weight shift, back, down, up. Making choices, how do you want your feet? Which leg steps forward? Which leg supports? All the way down, rest. <sighs> Reach the legs back out in front of you. Take your hands onto your legs. Paint your legs your favorite color. Like your hands have just dipped in the favorite color of today, and they're painting the inside, backside, front of the legs. <sighs> then pick your favorite leg, bring it in front of you. Other leg goes to the side, similar position, 
that we were in earlier. Only here, we're just going to rock forward and back. And we're going to rock so far forward that we come up and decelerate back down. If you're looking at it from the front, I'm here, and I'm rocking, and then I'm up. And I'm down, and I'm up. Decelerate. Push down to go up, deceleration. Down to go up, deceleration. Down to go up, deceleration. One more. Other side. Ah, it starts off with a rock, and then we go for it. One more. Bring the soles of the feet together. And we're just gonna open up a bit. Little butterfly stretch, a rocking. And then, we're going to bring our feet out in front of us. We're going to move our arms behind us. Fingertips can face back or fingertips can face out to the side. Your choice. Feet and arms are going to push down so much that my hips go up. Decelerate back down. Push down to go up. Decelerate. Down to go up. Deceleration, up. Two. And one. Come down, bring your knees and your feet together. Knees drop to one side. Knees drop to the other. Dropping over. Dropping over. Drop over to the side that faces the screen. Grab a hold of that top ankle and stretch over. Hand goes down. Hand replaces other side. Top ankle and I'm up and over. Hand goes down. Replace. Over, grab, down, replace. One more each side. Relax. Grab a hold of your favorite foot and just begin to give the bottom of the foot like a massage, like you're like you're petting a dog almost. A little lighter, a little heavier, and maybe all over. Just kind of rubbing. I like they're gonna do like a regular massage. Really get in there. Ah. <sighs> And then let's do the other side. Holding on, it's just like you're petting, you're massaging, you're caressing. All over. And then you're really getting in there. <sighs> Think about what was difficult, what you enjoyed, what will you practice? What are going to be the things you practice over the next week and next few months? Then put your hands on your heart. Take a nice deep inhale into your own hands and your own heart. Tell yourself thank you for showing up. Take a look around your space. 
It influenced the way you moved today, you made choices because of and around it. Then take a look at anyone on screen, anyone in the room with you, tell your community thank you. We appreciate so much you inviting us into yours and you being a part of our community. I will see you very, very soon. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. There we go. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, you may have known that that was a recording that James did special for us, but he will be back tomorrow live for Reset and Restore. So thank you so much, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Raymond.